Hi everyone and happy holidays. Today we're going to learn how to create Windows services using .NET 7. For any background tasks that you want, anything repetitive that will happen in a specific time or by a specific event. So let's check this out. Okay, first remember to have the latest version available of the .NET SDK to start this tutorial. So first things first, let's create a worker service. So for that, we just do .NET new worker. This will create a background service that will execute a basic task. It, as you can see, we have a worker, it's a background service, it has a logger on it, and we can execute a task. That's perfect, and it works. So we need to, to add something else so we can use it as a Windows service. What do we need? We need to add a little dependency. So the command for to add this dependency is .NET add package. And I don't want to write that package, so I'm going just to copy the comment here. It's the Windows Service Hosting Package Extension. So Microsoft Extensions Hosting Windows Services, and that will let us use the beautiful method use Windows Service. That will ask us for a configuration. So we add the config here, and then we can define the property config service name here we have the, the the name that we would represent our service in this case i want to create an upscaling service so i would put images in a folder and whatever image i put there will be upscaled using my graphics card it's a functionality that, that it's on a binary of my graphics card so i want to use it and i want this service to take the images and do the process in the background so i'm going to put upscaling service now that we have that, our worker service will work as a Windows service and we, can, we should be able to install it easily. But let's define our logic. So here I have my worker. This can stay the same, but this logic I need to change. I already have a snippet of what I need uh, to scale an image. I have my uh, image scale method. Don't look at the code. It's not important actually. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, to lower, sorry, my JavaScript world, it's coming. And I just add the cup, a couple of dependencies, uh, the usings here. And yeah, now I have my method. Um, I just want to validate the extension. So uh, yeah, I don't need this. Then, then, then I can add the validation of the extensions. I, it's not necessary for this example, but yeah. I have my scale image method here, and whatever path I send, it will upscale the image that it's there. Okay, so let's do a little analysis. I what will be the folder that I want to check? I will have a little while that it will repeat the process every time, and then I just want to have a directory files in directory enumerate files. And here I'll have C images. Seems pretty simple. And I will just put this this way. It's not a problem. And then for each file in files, scale image file. As you can see here, I have a rule that if it contains that it's uh, the scaled prefix, that means it's already scaled, so I will return. So it will never happen. It will not be in a loop of, of scaling all the time. So that's for it. And then let's just add a task delay of five seconds. I want it to check every five seconds. Maybe it's too much, but who cares? And yeah, this call is not awaited. Let's await this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Time delay, slip and blah, 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 blah. And let's just give the cancellation token here. Stopping token, cancellation, stopping token. So yeah. Now this will be the task that will be executed. So what? Uh, let's we can test it out. Let's 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 run our service. CLS dot net run and 
And okay, seems like it's running. Let's go to the folder. Here I have my images folder on the drive C and let's find a, an image. Okay, I already have my image here. I'm going to copy and paste here. So control C, control B, or just drag it here and let's see what happens. It converts it to attempt and now I have a scaled image from 256 to 512. Okay, that works. So let's make this a service. So what we have to do, we need to create a release of our program. To do that, we just do dot net publish dot uh, dash C release. So now that we have a release that it's on the publish folder here, so I go uh, release, publish, and I have my AI scaling service.exe. We have our Windows binary. So we need to make it a service. We, we need to register it as a service. How we do that? Let's clean this first. And now let's add SE, exe, why not? And then create. Our service name, I will call it upscaling service. Seems pretty fair for the issue. Bin path equals to, and let's add a couple of quotes. I like to add quotes, and then we add this. I think it will not work because I, I guess we need permissions to do it. I don't think it will let me do it without permission. So I'm going to copy the comment and get my access denied. Seems fair. Let's just got CMD and run it as administrator. And now let's just create our service. As you can see, create service success. That means our service already exists. Let's go to our services panel and see if we can find our upscaling service. So you, 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 well, you. Upscaling service, we need to start it manually. I don't want it to start manually. You can also set that up on the parameters of the SC binary. We want to start it up, apply, okay. And it seems like our service is running. Let's 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 check it out. Because I'm not sure. So if I make a little hack here and just remove the scaled from here, and let's put icon, just let that happen. Let's see if it works. Okay, create a temp and now it's scaled. If I add another image, we wait a couple of seconds when it starts validating temp and now it's upscaled. Yep, now I have my scaling service that it's running on the background, executing the task that I manage. This could work for anything. Maybe you need uh, a, a, some file that you want to export it to clean up something, any repetitive process that you want it to run on the background in a specific moment and will be executed directly by Windows every time you restart your machine. Seems like a great solution. And that's it, that's how you create Windows services. I think you can come up with a lot of ideas. Whenever it's a cleanup service that uh, checks up for a specific events to clean up something, maybe a table, of a folder, or even uh, something that you need to import a file in a specific time. If your users maybe put a CSV on a specific folder that gets imported or send it back to another uh, source of any kind, you, you get the idea. You can do anything you want. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button that's down there. Subscribe if you want to see more of our content. And don't forget to check our other videos. We have a lot of great content and stuff to learn. So let's check that, that out. And happy holidays. I really hope you enjoy and have a lot of fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>